Hello everyone and welcome to another quick video tutorial. Today we're going to learn how to install Google Ads Tag through Google Tag Manager. It's super quick, super easy and we're going to get started immediately. First of all, you need access to two different tools, a Google Tags Manager and also a Google Ads account. And since you are all watching this video, I assume that you have access to both of these tools. Otherwise, you wouldn't be watching this video. What we need to do, step number one, I want you to go and access your Google Ads account and find the option that says Tools from the menu on the top right side of your Google Ads. So click on Tools and then find the option that says Audience Manager under your Sale Library. Under Sale Library, there is going to be an option that says audience manager is called audience manager and i want you to click on audience manager so step number one access your google ads account click on tools under sale library click audience manager once we did that what we need to do here now is we need to navigate all the way on the left and i want you to click on the option that says audience sources okay so click on audience sources and this is the first time now that I create this account, right? So it's the first time that I'm going through the setup. Uh, it's a new account. So if your account is also new, this is exactly the screen that you are going to encounter. What you need to do here in this screen is you need to click on Setup Tag. So you're going to click under the Google Ads Tag Setup Tag. And we're going to follow through now a few options, right? So that's some legal configuration that um, we need to be mindful of. So I'm going to select the first option saying only collect general website visit data to show ads to your website visitors. And I'm going to exclude California users from a marketing list because I don't live in California. If you do live in California, you may need to pay attention to some of the privacy settings here in this screen right so we're going to select the first option here we're going to exclude california users we're going to save and continue and the second step is all we need the second step is relevant to how we install this tag and there are three options install the tag yourself email the tag we are going to use the last one that says use google tag manager we're going to click on use google tag manager and what you see here here is that the system gave me a string of numbers that they label as the conversion ID. Okay, so I'm going to copy my conversion ID. Make sure you copy your conversion ID. You copy the string of uh, numbers here, right? And that's pretty much it with Google Ads. The next bit now is I'm going to go to my Google Tag Manager. And what we always do here is we create a new tag and we also accompany this new tag with a trigger. So I'm going to hit on the button that says uh, add a new tag. I'm going to click on it. I'm going to name my tag, let's say Google Ads tag. And two steps always that we follow here, tag configuration and triggering. Under tag configuration, I'm going to click the first box as a first step. And what we're going to do here is we're going to select the option that is called Google Ads Remarketing here, right? So you click on the first box, tag configuration, you need to select Google Ads Remarketing. And what we need to do here is we need to paste the conversion ID that we copied from our Google Ads under the first box here that basically says conversion ID as simple as that, that's done. The next bit now is I need to select a trigger for my tag. I need to say basically to the system when this tag is going to be active on my website. So I'm going to click on triggering and I'm going to select all pages as the trigger. And I'm going to click on the add button on the top right. And that's my configuration. We have Google Ads Remarketing tag with a specific conversion ID that I fetched from my Google Ads account. The trigger is all pages. 
I'm going to save and don't forget that you need to submit and publish your tag manager every time that you install new pixels or new tag on your website otherwise it's not going to work now some of you will say hey wait a moment i already forgot my conversion id where can we find it don't panic let's say you forgot to copy your conversion id you lost it aliens came and abducted it, it doesn't matter it's very easy to find it again all you need to do is you need to navigate to your google ads and let's do this process once again from the beginning you need to navigate to your google ads you need to go all the way up click on tools and you need to go to the same place we went before audience manager right so click on tools go to your audience manager from the left hand side you need to go to your audience sources and all you need to do is under your google ads tag you're going to hit details you're going to gently scroll all the way down the screen and you are going to open up the drop down under the tag setup and again one more time you are going to click on use google tag manager so steps one more time tools audience manager audience sources we are also going to have them under this video in the description you can read through all the steps one by one so you won't really get lost you're going to select use google tag manager and that's your conversion id you can find it anytime so even if you forget it you didn't copy it something happened and it got lost that's the place you can come at any time and copy it come back to your tag manager and insert it to your tag and that's it that's how easy it was to create a Google Ads tag and install it to our website through the Tag Manager. If this video solved your problem, make sure you like it. Also subscribe to our channel. If you have any questions, post them in the comments below and see you next time. Thank you very much for watching.